Kirby enthusiasm, the pants tent. Cheryl, come here for a second. What? Look at this. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? It's just material. Yeah, I know. But really, look at these pants. I haven't been... I've seen pants bunched up. I've seen... I've never seen a branch up like this in my life. This is like a five-inch branch up I got here. You don't have to play with it. It's a bad thing. Maybe it's not such a bad thing, because you want people to think you constantly have an erection. It's bad for me to walk around like that. Is it bad for me to walk around like that? Yeah, it is. I've got a tent. It's a big one. You want to go, go to that Dustin Hoffer movie tonight? It's Monday. What do I do? What do I do on Monday nights? I don't know what. You take a bath, yoga. You don't don't have to do it every Monday. Yes, I do. I don't have anything, anybody to go to go with. Go by, by yourself, maybe. Call Richard Lewis. Call Richard Lewis, Richie boy. What are you doing? I was thinking about going to see the Dustin Humphrey movie. You're kidding? Yeah, the Crescent. Yeah, okay, I'm sure, no. I don't care, no, that's fine. All right. See you later, probably. I'm not sure I'm going. Otherwise, I'll see you on Saturday night. All night. Oh. All right. Bye. So he's going. Yeah, he's going. But, you know, he's got a date. Is it his new girl? Yeah. We're having dinner with him on Saturday. What's he like? I don't know. I never met her. He couldn't invent. He couldn't have invited me along with him. What's the big deal? He's going to, do, to the same movie at the same time. Here's a date. So that so what? You don't you don't ask somebody to go to movies when you have a date? They're here. Hello, hey Nancy. Just hang around a bit. Hang just hang around talking to talking to Larry. What are you doing? Really? You don't know that what? You should go to the movies with Larry. Huh? He's going to that Dustin Hoffman movie. Yeah. No. He would love to go with you. He's perfect. Hold on. She wants to go. Hello, hello, Jeff. How how are you doing? I can't believe it. I've got you in your car. I'm your manager, always available. I love that. What's going on? Nothing. I'm going into the movies. Who are you going with? My wife tells me, tells her friend I'm looking for someone to go with the movies. So I'm going to the movies with my friend. I find really annoying. Forget that about that tonight. You want to play golf this weekend? I don't know. I have to ask Hitler. Hitler? Who's he talking about? Don't know. Listen. Who's in your car? Does my parents, they're in town. Get me off the speakerphone. Please, hold on. Now, off the speakerphone. What's wrong with you? I thought this was a private conversation. I don't know anyone else. I didn't know anyone else is in your car. Hold on. Relax back there. Hello, forget it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, call me tomorrow one. Bye. Goodbye. Excuse me. Is that that's a problem for you? Excuse me. That's exactly right. Be a little nice about it and just go by. You make this big sigh. I'm going to get it, trying to get it. I'm sitting here. Please enter the other way. Please move your legs. Are you looking for my breasts? I'm not looking at your breasts. I'm trying to get to my seat. We're looking at my breasts. Yeah, your breasts, special breasts. Just as, just, I'm not looking at your breasts. I'm trying to get to my seat. We're looking at my breasts. Yeah, your special breasts. Just excuse me, please. Please go by without stepping on my foot. Do you wear that because you want people to look at your shoes, right? Prick. You could believe that. Did you hear that? I did, jerk. I hate her. What a sick fuck. I hate her, man. She doesn't even move her knees to let anybody, someone in. She's sitting on the aisle. Don't expect someone, didn't, do you expect someone to come in? I'm so sorry, you okay? Right. You got really upset, didn't you? Don't worry, it's over now. Shit, where's, where, where's your yo D? I'm so sorry, you okay? Are you right? You really got upset, didn't you? Don't worry, it's over there. Well, shit, there she is, yo D. You came. This, this is one of my best friends. This is Larry David. Nice to meet you. This is Sophia. And Nancy, I'm a huge fan of yours. Friend of Charles. That's funny. You know, only so deeply... You know, only on deeply religious holidays. Do you like the film? Yeah, not bad. It was great. It was fabulous. When did we, we go and get a little cappuccino and some pizza? Oh, me, on oh, me. It's too late for cappuccino. I'll be up until five in the morning for a cup of coffee now. Did you ever hear the word defecative calf?
Decaf doesn't work that well. They keep that keep me up till two o'clock. It's it's feeling I like hi, I like him as ghost. No, it's not. It's late anyway. Got to go home. What about dinner? Are you still out on on for dinner Saturday? We're going out with the Davids for Saturday night. I've got to meet his wife. I've got to get out, go out. Let's make it like a literary dinner, if you don't mind. What do you, does that mean, literally? Some fair between two and two uh, twenty hours. I don't know. I don't know what it means. I love you. Nice to meet you. Hope I see you again. All right. I'll meet. I'll see you Saturday. Are you sure everything's all right? How was the movie? Not bad. Not quite. Not quite sure how to tell you this. I think your friend Nancy thinks she got me roused in the movie. Why should she? Would she think that? Because the tent and the pants. She looked down. Oh yeah. She thought there was some garbage there. She looked over and she looked at the, your crutch. She looked at it. She looked down. What were you? Was her reaction like it was awkward? A little twinkle. You sure she looked over and thought that you were excited? That's really weird. I know it's really weird. It's really creepy. Very creepy. I told you about those pants. I know it's just material. Oh, oh it's obvious. It's not obvious. Look, she didn't say anything to you about it. You didn't say anything? No, there's no time. The movie started. And you weren't, what? You weren't aroused? Now look at this. I make sure I, I, I've told you about the pants. You don't believe me. You scoff because you idiot. Any idiot could tell you that that was just material. She's your friend, maybe I'll, I'll call her. No, don't do that. You're, that's crazy, by the way. I've got some news too, in case it wasn't good enough for you. We're not going at all out with Lewis and his girlfriend this, uh, on Saturday. That's out. Why? I got in a fight with his girlfriend before the movie started. Larry, why? How in the world could you get in a fight with it? With it wasn't my fault. I was trying to get get to my seat. She won't let me go. We got. And we got having we haven't there. Well, he wasn't there. I'll tell you about it. I have to go to the bathroom. Jeff called and he left a message on the machine. He said he's sorry. What does that mean? I don't know. He leaves a message. You don't know what it means. He's sorry, like you would know what the message meant. What happened? That's weird. I have no idea. You have no idea what happened? No. He left a message saying I'm thinking about it. I don't know what he's thinking about. I talked to him tomorrow. Strange night. Yeah, very strange. Hello, yeah. Do you know how much longer he's going to be? No. That was really uncool just to leave the message. I'm sorry. I'm machine because my wife, she asked me. What is he sorry about? I don't answer. I'm sorry. Not going to say I called a Hitler. Your parents think I heard it in the car. Okay. No, okay. You know what? I'm going to call back. And the thing is, he's going to ask me again. Well, can't... Think of something. What are you writing? I'm writing Kef, Kef, Kefi Griffin a letter of apology. Why? Why did what did you do? You did nothing to each other. Just but every we did nothing to each other. Every week I end up writing an apology letter. <coughs> but what a job do you have? You have, you have to write people let write people letters i oh, know it's ridiculous it's crazy kathy's the only one i don't understand what if kathy called you up and asked you want you she wanted to get a pilot for her you said no i was available without consulting me if my wife asks again make sure she will that i will tell her that's well why you should say said you're sorry great wonderful are you like that very very much it's quite good isn't it so we're lying together so that's our story. In your case, my wife uh, talks to you, Kathy. Kathy Griffin called him up, and he said he couldn't write the pilot for her without asking me. He's an idiot. Who is? You are. I'm taking talking to my wife. Ta- talking to my wife now. He's a big fat idiot. Big fat idiot. Come on, tell me I'm an idiot. Don't say I'm a fat idiot. You're kidding. Could you do me a favour? Write me an apology. I will. For- Calling me a d- fat idiot? Listen, and then another night, you called me your, your wife Hitler. My parents were at the back. We have a gay cousin that escaped Nazi Germany. It says my, my parents are very sensitive to that. Talk about being ostracized. Yeah, gay Jew, new, new, Nazi Germany. Yeah, you must have had a hard time. Yeah, what a combo. Can you do me a favor this afternoon? Come to the house and apologize to my parents. It's for him. That's here. 
they're here for another week. My dad wants to drop you uh, as a client. He keeps telling me every day, drop him as a client because he is one stupid joke, little joke I made in the car. One stupid little thing because of the gay Jew, Jew, Jew cousin, Jew cousin, very sensitive about it, about it, about it or the gay Jew cousin. I've got to go meet you for lunch. I've got to be home this afternoon. Please come by. Don't ever put me on speakerphone in your car. If anyone's sitting there again, if I'm alone, it's okay. Okay, you can do you can do me a favour, please. Tell me, tell my parents you're sorry. Quickly, zip it in and zip out. Tell them, all right. Have you ever heard this about his new restaurant called Mumbers Boy? Yeah, I heard of it. Great, good show. And I goings on Saturday night with reservations with Lewis and his girlfriend. No, we're supposed to to. Well, it fell through. I just take my parents there. You should, you should, Mumbers Boy. Nobody's gonna. Well, let's see how on another uh, other award show. Oh, okay. I've got to go. All right. Did Richard Lewis call? Yes, he's coming over. It'll probably be a few minutes from now. Now, Bob Shaw called. He wanted to say hi. Your wife is called twice. Your wife called twice. Okay. I don't need a few tips though. Yeah, I'm writing it down. A colour wrap in that tin, a foil, plastic. Is that sand in the wrap? No, I don't know. That's what I thought. It's okay. Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. What happened was Kelly Mac Griffin had called him about the possibility of me writing a pilot for her. She's interested in me writing a pilot for her. She never told me about it. He said no without telling me. So that's what he said he was sorry about. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. And okay, bye. Why are you looking like uh, to me like that? Because I've never been married. I think I'm in love. You might have ruined this for me. Come on, ruin it. If I did, I did you a favour, by the way. It's one of the most impressive things you've ever said. I don't think it's insensitive. It's insensitive. I do. Let me tell you something. Now, this is a woman who knows several languages. She went, it's very sweet. I'll take a link. A movie about to start. Look at me. Look at, can you st- look? Can you me- respect? I drove down the rush hour. These seats like this. She t- tried. She didn't try. Do you mind? Can't you move? And then there was a coupe de grace. You look at the bro- breasts. You're looking at my girl- girlfriend's breasts. First of all, they're not breasts. They're not, they're just big, chem- just big chemical balls. Okay. How do you know they're fake? I take a get. I took a guess. Maybe they are fake. That's a great deal. Nothing. Don't call them breasts. First of all, I'm getting. I, I'm getting to have that a regular heart thing. It's not a good thing. It's a recovering alcoholic. This is bad for me. We're doing a literary now. What else? I can give you the literary. You know, want to know what my cholesterol was? I don't know. I don't know this shit, man. I know her, I, I know her for six weeks. Well, you had intercourse. She's loving. She speaks seven languages. Congratulations on intercourse. I listen, I happen to be a little bit of love of her. A little bit would be the operative word here. I don't know how to, firstly, it's none of my business because you're insensitive. Don't she ask you to go over the Neil Simon scripts at her night? The actress, make sure you do some readings at night with her in bed. Does she give you a script to go over the lines with you on the sides? Do you read those sides with her? She reads Weasel and lots of things. She reads Weasel? That's right. Not everyone's a moron I'll go out. You know what she could be reading? Every fucking post. That's what she should be reading. Let me tell you something. Saturday night, do me a favour. I love you, all right? We have enough good stuff in the bank to get over this. But Saturday night at dinner... Could be maybe trying to make, have an apology for this. Firstly, there's no way I could have had dinner with you on a Saturday night. Well, that's out. Am I hearing this? I'm not having dinner. A relationship is at stake now. Get out of here. You better call, call me later by sundown. By sundown? What are you, Gary Cooper? What? That's funny. I'm trying to not to laugh. That's fu- but that's funny. You better call me a, by sundown. By sundown? You're going to posse. going to get me. That's right. Here he is. La, la. Hi, La. A friend. They are my, my friends. Connie, Ro- Robin, and Mama, and my class. I'm one of the mummies. Hi, Mummy. All oh, by right. Bye. All right, all right. Actually, let's go and see the kids. Mum. Dad, Larry's here. Ready? I come to tell you I'm sorry about the other night. I know you were in the car. You overheard me saying something. We were in the car. I'm sorry if I offended you. 
It was meant as a joke. It wasn't very funny, obviously. It wasn't. It wasn't funny. No, I thought I was just taking, take, just talking to Jeff. And you mean you could say that kind of thing to Jeff? And he thinks it's funny. Is that what you think that you're saying? I'm not saying that. You don't think it's funny? I would told told him it's wrong thing to say. I think so. I don't think my wife is Hitler. I love my wife very much. She's given my uh, given up my career to work full time for the environment. So it was, I was rotten on your part. It was cruel and not nice. No, it was rotten. If I may so say, so it was rotten. I'm sorry. I agree. It was rotten. All right. It's over now. It's over. And what you did, you have to pull yourself together. I do. I'm trying to pull myself together. You've got to get yourself, got to hold yourself. You know, so you did what you did. It wasn't very nice, but I tried to be a human, nice human being. Forget it. As long as you understand, he understands he's great. I done with Hitler stuff. You're all right. Thank you. You come in and see it, said it. Easy, mum, dad, Sammy's asleep on the floor. He's got his arm around Sarah. It's a cute thing. You're going to come up. Well, right now, Mary, come. It's so cute. Lurfrey got the paranoia. Polaroid, okay? Polaroid, you can see the new wallpaper. Come on, the Polaroid, I see the wallpaper. I get the Polaroid. Not getting, going upstairs, whatever you know. It's your business. You wanna, you wanna, you don't, you don't. I can't make you, I've gotta, I've gotta get moving. Thank you. I'm really nice to you, I really appreciate it. Gonna, gonna go up there now. Larry, come here for a second. Look who's here. I wanted to get this out of the open. Who, who, what the hell is it? It's Nancy. I just wanted you to come over here. One second, I thought we should just talk about this. Tell her that you were telling me the other night. Why are you doing this? This is silly. Tell her you told me the other night. Can't believe she's talking to you about this. It's insane. Wait a second, hold it. Can I say something over here? Okay, look. Now I come home. I thought really funny. It was kind of a joke to me. You stare down over here. Because you had an erection, Nancy. That's why it's funny. Because you thought I had an erection, I thought. So you don't understand the thought part. Oh, well, that's what he's saying, even for the before the movie. Larry said, look at these pants. Play the pants uh, before the movie. Larry, you sat down and everything was fine when it started rubbing your arm. You had got a hard on. It wasn't a big deal. I don't care. It's not a big deal. Didn't mind. I wouldn't mind. In fact, I did. Wait a second. She's rubbing my arm? Why are you rubbing his arm? I was upset about the woman. Why didn't you tell me he was rubbing your arm? I was upset about the woman. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's not so different to me. The whole thing I'm talking, all, talking in, all the facts, it happened. You got an erection. It wasn't a big deal, Nancy. Didn't happen, okay? If it happened, I'll give you credit for it. I know when I'll get these things, I know they happen. These things, these erection things. I know the source. I know the source too. I can name sources, so to your end. I want the source. I know my sources. Sometimes they're mysterious sources. I don't know where it comes from. Other times I can pinpoint it. What about me? I'm not involved in this source. Well, yeah, your source. Oh my God, listen, you are. You got a hard on. No, I didn't. Look at these pants. They're not, that's not what they look like. That's what it looked like. They're flopping. That was flop, not flopping. There's something hard in there. It was your dick. Are you crazy? Wait a second. Don't walk out. Let me show you. I got the pants, the pants. Why did these, why do you have to tell her? You tell, didn't tell me the whole story, did you, Jesus? Look, what's Kurt doing here? This is really crowded. Hi, it's a reservation. Pray to clock for David, yes. I have a party for four. But there are only two, there's gonna be two for of us. Larry, come here. Excuse me, one second, Cheryl. Hi, I haven't seen you since so long. Look at this. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Green, this is Cheryl. Larry's wife, this is Jeff's, Jeff's parents. Hi, nice to meet you. How do you do, Cheryl, is it? Yes, how are you? So nice to see you. Pretty lady, how's everything? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, she didn't want to tell you about the Hitler thing. No way, I promise you, no way. A little bit of a problem. Remember the other day we're leaving, we wanted you to look for the kids? Susie so asked you to come upstairs. My parents were mad. You didn't, what? You, that they were set, you didn't come up. He thought you should come up, up the stairs to see the children. Kids, they, they're mad at me. Yeah, they're insane. I always told them you're crazy. What did you say? It's nice if you'd come up. Who was the one who look at the other man's kids? So he didn't even say hello to me. I know what they upset at you. Hold on. 
She wants to talk to you. Excuse me, I'm trying to find a place for a table too. I don't have a total one. Wait a second, what's happening? We can't sit two people at a table for four. We take a table two. There's no table two available for another hour. It's a waste of, uh, for another half an hour. You take the table for four. We just two of us. We can't sit in the table for four. We just sit in the four and four. We're wasting. We had a reservation for four. The other two people couldn't come. I can not do it. It's not looking good. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm trying to find a place for table two. I don't have one. Wait a second, what's happening? We can't sit at two people at table four. We take a table two. There's no table for two available but for another hour and a half. We take the table for four. It just, there just there be two of us. We can't sit two and four. We can sit four in four as we're waste, wasting. But we have a reservation for four and the two people didn't come. I can do it. Can't do it. I'm not looking good. Thank you. That's fine. Yeah. You know what, Larry? You should just tell her who you are. Who am I? I'm a guy without a table. Try the Stemfield thing to see if your acts forget it. I'm not going to say that. It will help, madam. You are coming for me. Come for one second. Tell her who you are. He's one of the creators of Stemfield. Sidefield. So what? Right. Okay, fine deal. Big deal, fine. What am I saying is... She can't find a table for you. I wish I could f- help you out. I've seen it. i seen it once. It was good. Did you? Really? Which one? I can't remember. Great. See? She never did see so, so the show. Go, good going. We don't, but we can't give preferential treatment here, Larry. Cheryl, Larry, join us. We've got a table. Corner table. Easy and two. Come on, join us. Please do. I've done it. Shh. Shut up, Steinfield. Larry, David. Thank you very much. Come on, let's go. You want to eat with him, his family? I'm starving. I'm going to get the ve- veal pezzaman. Honey, you don't think you should get that? I'll get the white fish, then you... Then you... Oh, how are, you are you happy? I'm going to have the fresh, fresh frenzy. What's that? Where did you see that? Right there. It's It's got grilled scrambling with it. Not having that. Not having white fish. Is that right, sweetheart? Whatever you want, Mum. Okay. Why don't when are you going back? What? What is it? A hurry? It's my. It's our business next next Tuesday. I know because I bought the tickets next Tuesday. Right, listen, Mum. You're welcome to stay with us as long as you want. Good evening. How is it this evening? I'd like to apologise if it's necessary necessary to crowd you in a bit. We're very busy tonight, fortunately. But I hope you enjoy your dinner nevertheless. Are you mother's boy? I am a mother's boy. I'm proud of it. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. I'd love to see you, black owner. Black ownership. What does that mean? What do you mean? It's just, I've got to point it out. You're not going to point, going to order dessert. It isn't really good. It's not really a good deal because that's the entree. So cheaper. I own a cart, mum. I don't feel well. I don't, really don't. Have a nice time. Have a nice time. Have a great time. We've got to do this more often. Don't you think? Maybe I'll call in next week. May won't that be nice, Kathy Griffin? Sorry to interrupt, Larry, Susie, S- Jeff, Susie. I couldn't believe the coincidence. Been meaning to call you about Larry. You talked about it, the thing about the pilot. This pilot, yeah, pilot. We should do that. That's what we call. What he? What you call him about? I know. I didn't. I'm saying I call. I call you this week. 
I thought maybe you m- m- might want to write something to me. You know, I know. I know how do you know? Because. <laughs>